boys and girls, so today in math, we're going to do a little bit something that I talked about last week, and we'll do the same thing tomorrow. So our big word of the day, I love word of the days, and you're going to love this one too. It is all together. So all together. And what do you think that means in math? Well, boys and girls, it means that we're going to be putting two objects together or maybe two and three together to see how much we have. So boys and girls, if we we're doing word problems and it says all together, that means we are going to add. So we talked about this last week, but we're going to do a little bit more word problems and we're going to do them together. And then maybe the last one I'll let you all let you do not with me if you would like. So, boys and girls, here we go. I am looking at lesson practice 121, so one, two, one. And I'm looking at the first one, and it has an A by it, so that means that that's the first one. And you have a box, right? And it looks like this. So, if you, you're gonna need crayons or markers or something today besides a pencil, so you can pause me and run and go get those things if you do not have those things with you. So I am going to be using red and yellow for the first one. Now I don't have a yellow, so I'm just gonna use a purple so you can see it, okay? So I am going to, it says, I'm gonna read the problem first, it says, Tanya has two yellow balloons and one red balloon. Draw the balloons. How many balloons does Tanya have all together? So it says she has two yellow balloons and one red balloon. Now I'm not an artist, so you can kind of draw them just like Miss Gish, just a circle and a little bit of a string going down. Or you can be a little bit more artistic because I know you guys are good at that. So I show that I have two yellow balloons and one red. And I'm going to put them all together. Now last week I talked about how you can just count them. Or you can use your fingers. So let's use our fingers first if you want to use your fingers. So I have two um, yellow balloons and I have one red. If I put them together, whoop, how many do I have all together? Count my fingers. One, two, three three. Let's see if counting them gets the same answer. Here we go. One, two, three. It gets the same answer, boys and girls. So we have three balloons all together. So you can write a three next to that question mark. Or, boys and girls, you can also, if you want to, you can write the problem. So when we have a word problem, you have to always um, you have to always show your work so Miss Gish, Miss Johnson, and Mrs. Dykes knows what you're thinking because I don't know what you're thinking unless you show me, right? But you can also on these write it this way. Now this is not a um, requirement, but I just want to show you another way to do it. You can also do two plus, which means all together it's our addition symbol. 1 equals 3, okay? So you can write it both ways, or you can just write a 1 next to the question mark, all right? All right, nice work. That was A. Now we're going to move on to B, so I'm going to erase my board so I can get ready. And then I'm going to read the problem. Are you ready? So we are on B. Now, boys and girls, if you need to slow down or finish A, you can always just pause me and come back. All right, here we go. It says, Jamil has three blue squares and two green squares. Draw the squares. How many squares does he have all together? All right, how many squares does he have all together? So he has, so I need blue and green. Now, I don't have green, so I'm going to use pink, okay? So, it says I have or Jamil has three blue squares and two green squares. So 
So I want you to draw that in your box. I have three blue squares and two green squares. Now, once you've already drawn that, if you want to, you can use your fingers or you can count how I can show you, how I showed you before. And if you need to put those little tiny little dots in the middle of your squares to help you out, that's okay, because it just shows that you're showing your work, right? So if you need to, you can go like this too, to make sure that you counted that, okay? So I want you to count this. And then I want you to, then I want you to tell me the answer when you're done. Good job, boys and girls. If you got five, it has five all together. You also could have done it this way too. Three and two, and you could have put them together on your fingers and count them. Whatever way works best for you. And if you want to, I can show you how it would look. You would have three plus two equals five. So three plus two equals five. And that plus means all together, right? So it's what shows all together. That means we're just combining or putting all together the items, right? So I'm gonna do C with you, but if you don't need me to do C with you, you can just stop me, or you can continue to do this last one with me, okay? If you do stop, do not forget about the working with money on the back of your sheet today, okay? All right, here we go. It says Sherry, oh wait, Hold on, let me erase my board and get ready. Sorry, boys and girls. All right. Make sure your board is looking nice and clean. Or sorry, not your board. I'm gonna make sure my board's looking nice and clean. Make sure your paper's nice and clean. You're ready to go. All right, here we go. I'm working on C, okay? So I'm looking at this letter right here, the bottom one. It says Sherry has two red balloons, two blue, and one yellow. Draw the balls, sorry, not balloons, balls. I'm gonna start over. Sherry has two red balls, two blue balls, and one yellow ball. Draw the balls. How many balls does Sherry have all together? Okay, so I want you to draw those, okay? So I want you to draw two blue, two red, and two blue. So two red, two blue, and one yellow. I'm gonna use purple again so you guys can see it. I'm gonna give you a little bit of time so you get those done. All right, so now boys and girls, I can tell you that you can use your fingers, but it's gonna get a little bit more difficult in this one, okay? I'm gonna show you why. So it says Sherry has two red balls and two blue balls but I've already used both my hands. So what am I gonna do? You could use your pinky and put up this one over here for that last one yellow ball. But if that's too confusing for you, you can just add them in your head if you know it, or you can count them, right? So we have, let's see what we have all together, right? Cause we're adding them. So we have all together. So we're gonna do one, two, so this is two, this is one, and this is one, two. So, let's count them, are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. We got five again. Good job, kindergartners. So, if you want to do this one, and you want to write the equation out for this one, it would be two, plus one plus two equals five. That one was a little bit more challenging and looks a little bit different because it has two pluses in it, okay? So boys and girls, this is how you show your work and this is how it should be when you turn it in because then I know and Miss Johnson and Miss Dykes know what you're thinking, right, when you're adding. So boys and girls, this is a little bit more of a challenge, but I hope that you stayed with me today and enjoyed adding and I will see you tomorrow for some more word problems. All right, see you later, boys and girls.